and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. My name is Len Moleko, and like we always do on a Friday, we profile black businesses. We check how they're doing, what they're selling, so that you at home, sitting there, will be going out and supporting their businesses. And today, on the couch, I don't want to call it the magic couch because other people have things that they call the magic couch. <laughs> so I'm going to call it the Black Friday couch. I've got Mpumi and I've got Dexter. And as you can see in front of you, is a product that I've always been fascinated how it's made because there's a lot of people who do it, but yet I've never really grasped the concept of making Acha. Yeah. Before we get into how it's made and the processes, yeah. not that you're going to give away your recipe. No Don't chance. do that. No, no, no. You no, have no. to pay for that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Gents, why the Acha business? Uh, well, uh, I think first, first things first, we just want to thank you for the platform. Um, always uh, uh, an honor to you know, get, a, get a space to share what we're about. Uh, so we youngsters, born and raised Johannesburg, uh, and friends, we grew up together. Yeah. And the business was not just started by us two. Uh, it was actually started by three guys. Okay. A friend of ours, a um, very close friend of ours. He was a co-founder, but a year into the business had to leave, uh, leaving only us two. How did we get into Acha? We sort of fell into it. Um, okay. There's no special science to it. We, we literally sort of just fell into it. We did many other businesses before. And like they say, every, every failure is sort of a step towards where you're going, you know? Um, so now we're about four years old. Uh, so we've been running the business for about four years old. And when we got into the Acha business, it was really after we had got fed up with a lot of things not working. Yeah. Um, we in different areas, different um, industries, sectors. And eventually we said, you know what? You know, we've tried all this fancy stuff. You know, let's 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 get it back to basics. You know, yeah. let's get it. Let's 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 keep it simple. So we went to an expo, one of the expos here in Midran, actually, uh, Gallagher Estate. They yeah. have this in- international expo, the Cytex Expo, where all kinds of businesses uh, go to expo their stuff and whatever. So we just thought, okay, let's uh, take a walk around this place, see what kind of ideas we can get. And we walked around, we saw all kinds of businesses. So it's guys that are selling nappies, guys that are selling TVs, guys are selling all uh, financial services, all, all kinds of businesses. And while we were there, we bumped into a lady that was selling acha. And we yeah. said, uh, okay, uh, you know, acha in Midran at an international expo. I mean, that's weird, right? Um, so we thought, geez, if this lady, I mean, she seems to be putting together something quite serious we spoke to her she was exporting she was doing all sorts of things we thought geez with acha i mean uh you know as far as we knew acha is the kind of thing that you get you know ekasi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely uh, at home um so that's what sort of sparked the interest and we said okay no let's look into uh, what we could do with this because in, you know without putting the product down it wasn't uh, like a superior kind of a product yeah but she had a uh, quite a quite a big platform with those cheese, with such a platform, with such a product, I'm pretty sure that if we get serious with this, uh, you know, we could we could step it up a little bit. And I, I think that was that was the birth of what we, of an opportunity that we saw. And look, there's there's this area of food that's really untapped, um, and that is authentic South African foods. You know, that actually got the juices flowing um, yeah. for us at that point. So you know what, they are proper food, South African, what we call South African foods, that is as um, as Africans, uh, there's those kinds of foods that you don't find normally in the burbs and whatever. Yeah. You, you find them when you go home. Uh, you find them, you know, uh, normally only in small, uh, small circles, um, you know, in the townships and those kinds of things. We say, no, there's quality, good quality African food that's just not getting to that level that, that, level needs to get that to, it's yeah. supposed to get to. And we thought, geez, you know, here's an opportunity for us to uh, go on the road. Uh, and that's how we sort of... Um, got into this Acha space. Okay, so you guys get into the space. I mean, like, in my mind, Acha is like a Kapnyana there, and then Magriza is like, ah, go there and buy Acha, and they give you three scoops and whatever. That's essentially how a lot of us grew up and knew yeah. how Acha was. 
and it being authentically South African, yeah. and you saw a lot of it, Kokasi type of thing. That's right. Not necessarily in the verbs. You always had this conception that ah, Acha comes in, ah, you go, there's Makriza with the big bucket, and it's yeah, but then yeah, you guys yeah. took it a step further, yeah. and you sort of like serving it like how there are other companies that it sort of like decided that, you know what, we're going to package this, put it at a chain store, like a pick and pay or whoever, 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 and sell it. Now, when I get to the pick and pay, what is it that I'm getting from Okubaba versus whatever is there on the market? I know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not going to expose other people. <laughs> I just want you to tell me okay. what is it that you have. Okay. So I think um, you phrased it correctly by saying it's always been known as one of those products that, you know, it doesn't really have a, a face, as yeah. you'd call it, you know. you Normally, if you want, like, is the real Acha, you'll have to go, man. Konu mamagas ban ban. she's yeah. selling it, you know. And you'll never see the label because, yes, they'll take it out of a bucket and they'll scoop it, they'll put in something small and whatever the case may be. And that's actually part of the reason. We, we like to call our Acha, we like to say that it's the Acha that went to private school. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Okay. So what you'd be getting here is essentially... Uh, we call it the taste of South Africa in a bottle. So you're going to get that taste that will take you back to your childhood, the taste that, you know, mama was able to put together, but now you get it with all the other retailers. Because the question is this, why is it that we can't find a good quality acha next to your tomato sauce, next to Mrs. Yeah. Balls, next to, you understand? So that's one of the things that we thought, I mean, why not? Because it's a great product. I mean, almost, almost all South Africans, I would like to say, have either tasted it or have you know like it or they like some other brand of acha which has no name yeah um and why not give them something that they can you know walk into spa and find it with everything else on the shelf you know and so that's how we came to this concept to say no man let's take this product beautify it a little bit put it next to these other products because we're not getting that you know we're not getting our authentically south african products on a shelf available and why not why aren't we getting them there so that was part of the reason that we can let's beautify it put it there so it can stand with the rest you know the interesting thing about it is uh, obviously you guys have been in the space for some time it's not something yeah. that happened yesterday uh, th there's this I don't want to call it a growth per se but there's uh, an awareness as it were of things that are authentic or that on that okay the word is escaping me authentically <laughs> yes from Kokasi right yeah. like the quarter, for instance. I mean, there's yeah. been a quarter festival. Yes. And acha is one vital ingredient of a quarter. That's right. How are you guys playing in that space? Okay, so um, as you said, we, we're trying to put ourselves on the shelf with everybody else. But at the same time, we're also trying to partner with a lot of guys who are also trying to do the same thing. Yeah. You know, um, I would like to do a shout out for Proudly South African because they've really given the platform for all of those type of guys, right? Yeah. All of us who are doing, you know, quarters, you know, this traditional way. Things that you find at Kasi, they're helping us to put it on, onto the market. And that's, that's been awesome for us, you know. And it's growing, you know. A lot of people are now starting to become patriotic towards the brands. Yeah. And they're starting to buy stuff that has, you know, the label proudly South African, you know. So I think the market is growing and, you know, South Africa is starting to really support their own products. And that's what we need. We need them to say, you know, yes, this is from Ekasi. How do we make it better? How do we put it on a platform where it's readily available for everybody else. You know what I mean? Because it's creating jobs and more than creating jobs, it's bringing up businesses. You know, people are taking the thing that they normally do at home and they're starting to display it for others to, to buy and to enterprise. So that's one of the things. I think it's, it's a market that's really growing and this proudly South African kind of product range is growing. You yeah. know? And we thank South Africans for supporting that. It's, it's actually interesting that uh, one of the chain chicken outlets uh, in South Africa, very popular, have a meal that you actually have a choice of having it either with salsa or with uh, coleslaw or acha for that matter. And yeah. If I, I, look, I'm a consumer. The acha is, 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 is okay. And I would like to think that maybe you guys have come across the meal that I'm talking about. Yes. What makes your acha different from... Because there's a variety of them. That's right. right. So... What is this private school thing about your archer? Forget okay. the packaging. <laughs> Forget the packaging. <laughs> okay, so I think one of the things we must mention is that um, we've got one, a different cut to other cuts. So other cuts are like 
quite big and others are quite small. Yeah. I was right there in the middle, right? And we put in quality mango, quality oil, but the thing that you just cannot get away from is the taste, you know? Um, so far, we can honestly say uh, we've put ourselves against a few guys and our consumers are saying that we've got this taste down to a match, you know? So even that meal that you're talking about, I think we can give them a hard time. <laughs> Should they ever try to contest, um, you know, they, must, they might just consider us. But, but, but in terms of saying that, giving them a hard, a hard time, is that not like an opportunity to explore because getting into that space, being the archer of choice when you go order that meal, yes, will go a long way in terms of the rest of the country being exposed to the product that you have. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping that... Uh, that meal will consider us after seeing this podcast because <laughs> we would like to be part of that meal. And I think we can complement it quite well. I so, think we can. So product wise, uh, are you guys only available in the country? Have you gone or explored the possibilities of going overseas? Because uh, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, subscribers who are actually out of the country and when you are not in South Africa, there are those authentically South Af I finally got the word right. Yes. Uh, authentically South African products that you miss when you are not at home. Yeah. So, I'm in yeah. the US, I'm in Ukraine, I'm in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Is there a possibility of me getting hold of your archer? Okay, so, short answer, no. Okay. Um, but it is part of the larger mission uh, that we're after. Yeah. Obviously, as a proudly South African company, we believe that we have products that are not only good for South Africa, but good for the world. Yeah. And, and, and right from the beginning, we've positioned the company in such a way that it will be ready for the world. You yeah. know? Uh, but we've focused ourselves and sort of tried to, the strategy is sort of saturate the area that we're in first and grow and grow, you know, radius per radius. Yeah. Um, so we are based in Gauteng. Uh, but we supply mainly in Gauteng, but there is some Northwest, there is some Free State, there is some uh, Limpopo, there is some uh, KZN as well. In some of some of the ch chains that uh, people are, who always say, trusted retailers. Yeah. Um, so we listed with the likes of MassMart, which is, um, MassMart is the largest retailer in the world. Yeah. So the opportunity for growth and um, access to bigger and larger markets um, is there for us. Um, but you always don't want to, you don't want to, um, you know, jump the gun. And that's what we've always we believe in. I think as black business as a whole, I think black business has taken a bad rap in some ways. Um, in that, you know, there's some reputation that some of some black businesses have, have um, got over the time, over promising and delivering, yeah. that kind of a thing. And that's some, some of the things that we're trying to change. Uh, you spoke about what are we trying to do differently. Um, we're trying to give you a high quality product, um, high quality product. Uh, high consistency, uh, wonderful um, and wonderful and good um, uh, customer service, yeah. uh, and customer after sales and satisfaction. You know, those are the kinds of things that keep people buying and buying and buying and buying. Um, we are available as well on the online platform called RSA Made, yeah. so people can get us there. You know, shout out to RSA Made. They they the they're basically the online platform for all party South African products. Yeah. So we're one of the uh, food items. There's so rsamade.ca.za. If you go on today, you can order us from there, and the distribution goes all over the country. Uh, and I think very soon it's going to be spreading its wings as well outside of the country. So as the market grows and as appetite grows outside of the market, so you know, if we're listening to people um, outside of the country right now, you're looking at this product, looks like something that you want, please talk to us. Uh, and let's explore how to get it to you. Uh, you wouldn't be the first person to ask. I mean, there's some people in Hungary that have, have wanted it. There's some people in China that have wanted it. Yeah. Um, there's some people, where, where else? Yeah, Mozambique. Quite a few places, quite a few, quite a few places yeah. where we've been asked. So the demand is growing outside of where we are now. It's exciting. Um, but, you know, we're taking the steps. We're taking the steps to make it happen. No, definitely. Yeah. Something that has actually always intrigued me. Uh, I've never actually had the opportunity of being offered as a, as a side almost. Like, it's just there in like a little bowl at a restaurant. Acha. Yeah. Why do you think that's the case? And the way you guys are positioning yourself, how do you think you can change that mindset on some... Uh, Acha is something that you buy with your groceries and you just pour in your cupboard type of thing. Okay, so I think that's actually part of the one of the one of the very big things that we're trying to do a little bit differently. Yeah, and that's to show you that South African food one is brilliant. Okay, yeah. um, and can be done with much more can be can we can do much more with it uh, than what has been done. Yeah. 
So, unfortunately, I think a large part of the market, acha, if I ask you what you eat acha with, you know, the typical answer, pop and eggs, pop yeah. eggs, acha, yeah. you know, uh, quarter <laughs> acha. <laughs> um, but what we're trying to show, not only South Africa, but any everyone that's watching, you know, is that South African products are diverse and can be fitted in different kinds of recipes. We've seen people put this thing with lasagna. Yeah. We've seen people put this thing on pizza. Yeah. We've seen put them. We've seen them put them put it, put it in burgers. Yeah. Um, potato, bakes. potato bakes. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're trying to show uh, the country first. I think the country is slowly becoming more and more convinced that um, you know we don't always have to look outside for what what can or how we can make our food better. We have wonderful wonderful products uh, that are South African homegrown, and um, that you know. Um, that if, if put the right way is wonderful just check out check us check us out our, our social media pages and whatever and you, you'll see we're starting to educate people on um, how to pay their foods and what other people are doing to, to make their food you know go, go that extra mile alright so anybody who wants to get hold of you guys uh, anybody who wants to get hold of Okubabayo where can they find it if they want to get hold of you how do they do that which social media platforms are you on so that they can get tips on how to play around with their food? <laughs> okay, so we are on all the social media. Yeah. So that's Twitter, Insta, Facebook. Um, our most active and most interactive platform, I would say, I would recommend is Facebook. Yeah. Um, steadily climbing over about 5,000 followers now. All right. Um, and that's growing, you know, uh, daily. Uh, what's the handle? Oh, Facebook.com forward slash Okubabayo. All right. Um, the other the Insta handle is at Okubabayo. Uh, oh, is that Insta? No, that's Twitter. At Okubabayo. Yeah. The Insta handle is at Okubabayo underscore SA. All right. Yeah. And, uh, and you can always find us on our website. All right. You can always find us on our website, www.okubabayo.co.za. Uh, but if you've got any questions, you're interested in becoming a supplier, maybe you don't really uh, want to buy it, maybe you want to buy some stuff for yourself, sell it, um, sell it on. Yep. You know, there's, there, there is an interest for that as well. Okay. Make some extra bucks for yourself. Give us a call as well, 010-312-5004. Uh, and then somebody will somebody will assist you on how to make that happen. Okay. Uh, cool. The process is quick and easy. Call us and, you know, we're ready to, to, to help you out. Any sort of questions that you've got. All right, cool. Before we get out of here, I see there are four bottles with four different colors. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason for that. Yes. And you guys are going to tell me that. Yeah, so we've got four wonderful flavors. We've got, let me just see this, the red. So we've got the chili, right? Yeah. This is chili with no garlic, right? right? And then we've got a plain, which has no chili and no garlic, but still tastes amazing, all right? right? Then we've got garlic that has no chili. Then we've got our ultimate seller, the garlic and chili, right? Okay. So now this is what we call the mover and shaker, right? Okay. Once you've tasted this, I mean, no it's tickets. <laughs> no more coming back. Tickets. All your condiments are gone. The only condiment you'll ever need is garlic and chili. <laughs> All right. I think the wife at home is going to be very angry because she doesn't like me putting acha on everything that I eat. No, she might join you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Pull me Dexter, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, wish you all the success. And uh, yeah, you heard it. You can get hold of them. Uh, look out for Okubabayo at your nearest mass mud retailer. That includes, I think Game is one of the mass mud retailers, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. So we're not quiet in Game just yet, but if you are looking for us, uh, readily available. Yeah. You can find us in Spa, OK, Roots, OBC, Escort, um, in, in, within, within Gauteng. Yeah. We, we're pretty well based. So you, if you're looking for, for us, really, you can find us in Spa, OK, Roots, OBC, most of the major butcheries, yeah. you can find us there. The stuff is good. Go, try it out, and then on the comments, just let us know what your experience is, and... Uh, if you don't like it, then we'll take it up with them because <laughs> they, they believe in <laughs> Okubabayo. We I'm do. I'm going to have a taste. I'm going to give you some feedback and uh, I will also give them feedback. Awesome. Anyway, gents, once again, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having us. All right, cool stuff. Okay. And chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.